Okay. Here we are for another page today. I'm going to try something slightly different today. Let me just move some stuff out of my way here. Okay. Oop. Okay, I think my volume is off now. Okay, I decided that before I started, I needed to grab a glass of water. So, here we go for day number two. I'm going to see if I can, uh, um, I'm going to use the iPad, I think, and I'll show you my, the, the design space part of um, this page. So, if you've been following, last week I posted this picture, a uh, picture of three of the images from the new um, Cricut Everyday Moments that's available from Close to My Heart. If you don't have it, I actually definitely think you should consider it because the way that they've got it set up, they're, they're set up so they're pre-designed. So I just need to, I think I need to turn on another light for you. They're pre-designed, so, and there's different kinds of projects. So um, there's 12 by 12 scrapbooking pages, single pages like this. There's double page spreads, there's cards, there's eight and a half by 11 pages, etc. So there's lots of just starting points. If you don't want to change anything up, it gives you a color scheme. You can literally add it onto your mat and away you go. Or you can switch everything up. So you could add other elements. Um, you could take out what you don't want. Yesterday, I took out some of the things I didn't want on the page. Um, today, I've pretty much left this one the same, but I switched out all the colors. And um, I'll show you some stuff along the way. So this time I did keep all the pieces though. So this is the one we're gonna do today, Daydream. And then I went into um, the Love of Color. So it's a how-to book and it's just, it's a little bit different. It's based off of colors and color combinations. And so I knew that, for example, I wanted, I knew which photographs I was going, I picked out photographs yesterday. So I knew that these were the photograph, okay, I'm just gonna move this slightly out of the way. So I knew this was the, one of the photographs and then this was the other photograph. So I thought I would really like to play it up with the peacock. So then the way this book works is you look at the back, you pick a color that you want to use, whatever. So I decided I wanted to have peacock in it. And so you turn to page 36 and here are some suggestions with peacock. Um, and so that was just kind of my starting points. I actually switched lots from there, but it just kind of gave me a spot to start. So this is a great resource is all I'm going to say. I love it. Okay. So we'll move that out of the way because I don't need that in my way. Okay. So now I don't normally use my iPad for this, but let's see here. I will show you. Okay. I had all three on a canvas, but I just want to show you kind of so I tried to make it as big as possible. 
I might just have to go back to the screen share because it's not very big. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how I switched it out and then some things about what I did. So the the first thing you want to do is I if you want to change stuff is you need to ungroup them. And then I switched the colors just so that I could see what it was going to look like when I switched the colors out. Um, and then you want to, I cut up the letters because I wanted them to be able to fit. When they're grouped, they spread them out on the piece of paper because they look more like this. So when you bring it in and go to cut it, that's what it looks like and it's locked like that. So I slice them apart so that when I go to um, print it or cut it, it is separated and then you can make them smaller. Um, what else did I want to tell you about this already? Oh, the other thing is, so you'll see here, I picked black for my background, but I'm going to show you I wanted, so I picked it black as for two letters, like I replaced two letters, so the R and the Y, so that you can see the ones that are the saffron here, I replaced them with black. So, but when it came time to cut them, I cut them out of the middle of my mat so that I didn't have to even pull in a scrap. I could just cut it out. Hey, Pam. It's good to see you too, kind of see ya. Um, so I cut them out in the middle of the mat so I could also use the rest of this block just as the background. Because once you cut out the background, which is this decorative piece of paper, I'll just move this other stuff out of the way. You can't see the fact that the letters are cut out in the middle. So the other thing is, these are actually in the original, we'll go back to the original here for one sec. So when you look at this, it's just the two-tone cardstock, but they actually have them as two different colors. So if you want to just use the same piece of cardstock, you might want to change the colors because look, when you go to make it, it is going to split them apart so that they're on separate pieces of cardstock, but you can fit them on the same piece. So if you want to, I don't normally do it on here. Let me just see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it very easily so that you can see. So I've moved it to the other piece of cardstock. And there you'll be able to cut all of those pieces out of the same piece of paper and then just flip them so that you're using your light and your dark side as your two tones versus two colors. I wanted the two colors, so I didn't do that, but that's how the original is set up. But don't forget, you can move stuff from mat to mat. So, and I'll show you the letters. I'll show you because they're here. So in the way the file is, when you start, that's how it's going to cut because they have the letters grouped together like that. So obviously, that's not very um, useful for cutting with your Cricut. So if you go, oh shoot. Okay, so you'll see here, when I pull up my layers, you can see how they're grouped together, probably not because it's super small. But let's just say, I'll try and hide some stuff out of the way here. stuff. Sorry, I should have maybe done this before. Good morning, Pauline. 
sorry, I'm kind of watching over here and down at the same time. But let's just say, okay, I need to ungroup some stuff here. I just want to get so that I have two letters here and I'll show you what I did. Do, 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 do. I don't normally, there we go, ungroup. Okay, so now everything's by itself. But if you see, we have to ungroup again. Sorry, I just need to get something out of the way so I can actually, okay, so here you go. These, I'm gonna make them bigger so you can see them. These two pieces are still grouped together. So when you go to cut it, you'll see they're spread out way on the cardstock like that. But if you go back, you can cut them apart. So just insert a shape. Um, do, 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 do. And then select both things and slice them apart. Actions. Slice. Sorry, I'm not used to norm to doing this this way. Okay, so now you'll see they're separate. They don't move together. So when they go to the mat, now you'll see they've lined them up so, oops, they're lined up so that they are, are better use of your paper. So that was one of the first things that I did after I picked my colors and I changed everything, color synced it. Then I went and I cut apart my letters so that when I cut it, it was um, better use of paper. Okay, so you'll see I just want to hide this so that I just have the third page sitting here that we're going to do. So let's, there we go. Okay. So now you can see when I go to hit make it, all of mine are separate like that. And just on the small piece of paper, small part of the paper, I should say. So if you have any questions about that, you can ask me and I'll show you again. I thought this might be easier than me bumping back and forth between screen sharing, but I don't know that it necessarily was. Okay, so those were the couple of things I just wanted to tell you about um, the design space file before we started to assemble. So, I'm just going to put you up here so I can actually see you on assembly. Because it's sideways to me. Sometimes I can't actually see what I need to be seeing. So, let's go. Darn it. That work always gets in the way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to adhere these down first, the starbursty um, kind of shapes. And then I think what I want to do is I want to add color behind these pieces, but I think I'll get these down first. So I'm just going to bring in my all purpose mat. And I kept these little pieces out of here. They're just sitting here. I'm not sure if I'll add them back on my page or not. Hey, Jenny. Um, we will see. 
So I just kind of threw them all down in the order, obviously the size order. And I'll just start by peering outside and then working my way in. Are the puppies watching me too, or just you? Okay, so don't need that. Okay, so I thought I'd tell you my colors. So I picked mink, black, peacock, eggplant, and then we have over here, I just have the title sitting here. But we've got a uh, glacier and I threw some ruby in there. So that's the colors. Ah, I'm sure my soothing Canadian accent will put all the puppies to sleep. It's funny because when I, um, watch Ginny in the puppy room because I have one of her puppies. I think Emmy must recognize your voice because she always perks up. So that's what I'm going to say. She must have a good memory. Okay, so I'm just, you guys know me, me and my liquid glue. I'm going to maybe move these out of my way. So I'm starting from the outside just so that, because uh, it fills most of the outer space. I'm happy to see that Marigold has finally gone in with those puppies now. Maybe she just needed them to be moving or their eyes open or something. Okay, so I posted earlier because people were asking me how I think I'm going to document this whole COVID thing. And I will tell you, because obviously you guys realize that I'm used to the whole staying at home thing. Nobody else. Crosby's still scared of the puppies, really? Oh, that's funny. I would not have thought that. Okay, so I'm just going from outside in. And I'll just kind of, so that I know what they're going to look like. You have to admit, it's kind of a little bit funny when they don't have their eyes open and they can't move on their own. Um, so I think what I've decided, because Close to My Heart put the everyday, is the everyday albums are all going on sale in a couple of hours. So I think I'm going to actually try a different size for me. I'm going to do an eight and a half by 11 album. And I think I decided to use everyday life because they're a little bit smaller. Obviously then using like, normally I use like a D ring album. So I'm going to use everyday album and I think I'm going to use an eight and a half by 11. And I'm going to use the stamp set. And I think I'm going to use these are my people. And I'll just do kind of a, yeah, a three o'clock, a three, 3 p.m. mountain time, I think it is. So it's four o'clock for me, but I think you're mountain time. So it's three o'clock for you. Today is Friday, right? If today is Friday, which I'm super confused about the day, but um, yes, it's this weekend. So I think though, that is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, like, a, yes. It's 
exactly. So I thought it would be fun to try the, a different size for me. It's I I have it's not like I haven't scrapbooked eight and a half by eleven, but it has definitely been a long time since I've scrapbooked eight half eight and a half by eleven. So it was very trendy to scrapbook eight and a half by eleven at one point. So I figure we'll try it again. And I figured that with the everyday album, then it's not like uber. It's not going to be a ton and ton of pages. And I really have been taking pics, trying to take a, a picture, a picture or two a day. Because it's just so strange. My daughter and I, Hannah, were having a conversation this morning because she's in her 20s. And then my son is 19. But for them, like, it's, they have no idea, like, how to even process what's happening. Not that I do either, but, um, and everybody's life has been affected. They've just, everybody's life, to some degree, everybody's life has been affected somehow. Hey, I think I'm even wearing a good color for this color combination. It's like I planned it when I got up. No. So I don't know how many pages the album will be, but, and I don't know if I'll use Cricut or just wing it. We will see. Has anybody else decided how they're going to document it? Because if somebody has a super awesome idea, I'm I'm totally eager to change my idea too. Okay, so I'm going to just leave this for a second and we're going to work on the title because then I think once the title's here, then I will know, oh, I should bring the picture back so we can compare. Um, then I think it will help um, decide what color. I will make the little things at the top. So, there we go. Oh, Miss Ginny, look at the cup I'm drinking my water out of. Okay, so now we have still these, and I think I'm gonna add behind here too, so that they, um, oh, you couldn't see. Okay, are you looking? This is my cup from convention from Ginny. I'm sure you might be busy trying to corral those little puppies. Okay, so there we have this kind of roughed in. And you'll see, I just pulled, I actually pulled them back out of the garbage, the scraps from my, um, Cricut cutting, just in case we need them. Okay, so this title is pretty thin. So this is what I think I'm gonna do. I'm going to, so be careful when you cut it, 
there's outsides and insides. So I'm going to, so make sure you don't throw these away by accident. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to glue my insides to any of the letters that have insides first before I put them on the, like the cover piece. But you could do it however you want. I'm sure that everybody has a, so there's the D and here's the A. So I need an A inside. So like that. Oh, you forgot to keep the inside pieces. I forget what I actually did. I did that this week too on something. It was, I, I actually, I think it was maybe the one from yesterday, but the letters were so tiny that the pieces were so small. I scraped off my mat and I didn't even, re, didn't even really think about, it. okay, so the Y doesn't have anything. The heart doesn't have anything. Here we go. Here's the D. The good thing is it's just paper. And the title is totally readable without the insides either, if they happen to go in the garbage by accident. So the only thing too with this title, because I switched up the letters, when you switch them up, just make sure that you kind of look at them. Like I changed my colors of cardstock in Design Space. So that I could see what the letters looked like and that um, I didn't end up with because I wanted them all different if you want them all the same too you could do that too totally you could change them so they were all black so that they stood off the page more or but it's handy to actually switch the colors in design space so that you can see what it's going to look like when it's finished So there's my R. So if somebody else has a better idea of how to put this title together, let me know. But this was the only, this was, I figured this was the easiest way for me. There's the E. I almost forgot the little E round thing. But as I was peeling it, also, if you kind of look at this when you peel your mat too, then you'll know which pieces to save. Like if you're actually looking at your original in design space. Oh, shoot. Slipped. Okay. And then we have an inside for the A. Oh, and here's there is something for the Y. Here's inside for the Y. And inside for the Y. I just have to make sure I don't put the glue on the wrong side because that's totally something I would do. Okay. Okay. So now I am going to add some glue onto the back and then add my pieces.
Okay, and you'll see that this one is the short one, so you know how to kind of add it on. I think it's going to be super cute. Okay, so I'll move this out of the way. This is just my one from yesterday that we did. Okay, so I'll put my heart on. Is anybody doing anything uber exciting to pass their time? Like something that they don't normally do? I moved my whole office. Everybody knows that. That was the most exciting thing that we had going on. Okay. I just can't decide which direction to go here. Maybe I'll do the bottom first. So by changing the colors, you completely change the look of the whole page. And then the other thing is too, you can pull all those elements out and um, use them to create different things. Like this would be super easy to adapt into a two page spread. Super easy. So. Okay, and so I promised when we do the adventure one, which is the next one, which is actually an eight and a half by 11, we're gonna change it into a 12 by 12 scrapbooking page. And I told you, okay, so here, see, I switched the, the colors, but there's two A's. So you wanna make sure that obviously this A doesn't go right beside the other glacier A, that it goes, the um, eggplant one goes down here. Um, so when we do the adventure page, which I actually thought would be good in an eight and a half by 11 in my documenting all this stuff right now, it might not be a bad page to put in that eight and a half by 11 book, but I already promised we would change it into a 12 by 12 page and I will pick the photos and we'll do the selfie, Canon selfie tips that day. So I find it much easier to obviously um, put it together upside down. So just make sure that um, you have your letters going in the right direction. So, I think we will do the adventure page after the weekend, though. I have to decide on my pictures, and maybe I will get you, maybe I'll pick my pictures, and then we'll vote on the color scheme. So everybody knows I was complaining about how dreary it was yesterday when, okay, so I'm going to flip it over. Look how awesome it looks. Oh, maybe we'll add some shimmer brush to this, I'm thinking. Um, so we finally have a sunny day today and the snow is melting. It is really cute and it like literally... So oh, that sounds nice. Popcorn and a movie. Oh, it's Friday, right? Also. So, oh, five, yeah, okay. So the launch isn't till five o'clock. So for anybody that doesn't know what we're talking about, um, 
if you're a consultant and you pre-registered for an event, we're going to get to see the next idea book. So there's definitely some perks to being a consultant. Don't forget. So, and one last letter. Well, Pam, I hope they still have popcorn for you. I read yesterday where you said that they were limiting your chickens. I thought we would have a super hard time here if they're going to start limiting my chickens. My kids joke that we have chicken almost every night. We are having homemade pizza tonight. That's what we're having. I said, okay, I'm going to flip it over. I don't think that... Oh, it's, I, I think it's super cute. Um, I don't feel, I don't think that I have ever cooked and cleaned and picked up as much stuff as I have as in the last few weeks. Okay, so here we go. So this is going to go down here. Now, I think I know I need the red and some more spots. So I'm for sure going to do the red up here. So my scissors. That's okay. We have another pair of scissors. I did have scissors. I don't really know where they are. Jenny, you're so cute. Okay, I think I need to move these things. But, I, sorry, when I move stuff around too quickly, it makes the camera shake. Okay, so... Yes, Jenny, you need to get yourself in, there's a Facebook group, if you want to watch it live. Oh, Miss Emmy has come to my office door. She will inevitably open the office door, so it is not the ghost behind me, as I told everybody yesterday. I'm actually surprised, because normally the second I start talking to myself, Really? No chickens and no eggs? Oh my goodness. Ginny. Oh, here comes Emmy. I, I don't know what I would do. I don't think I can send those to you though. She just scratched, so she will open the door in a second. It's funny because all of a sudden behind me, you just see the door kind of open, but nobody can actually see her because she's lower than the camera view. So sometimes you can see her tail if it is um, up in the air. Yeah, I definitely like that. Okay, so now I just need to decide. 
Oh, maybe we'll do a combination of these. I said yesterday, she's like the British um, broadcaster's kid that walked behind and then the nanny dragged him out of the room. We're just lucky because today the other dog is at the back door, so he's not going to bark. Because normally I couldn't hear him in my old office, but now he is... You can hear him because he's nice and close. Okay, I totally like that. Okay, so I'm just really cutting up like the small scraps from the leftover Cricut pieces and I'm adding them in. And I think I'm just going to leave the black dots black coming through the background because there are little black dots on the wall um, behind her. So I want to see these dots. I kind of want to reinforce the black dots. That's why I did the black background. So I'm going to leave those little black dots coming through like that. But I think I'm going to grab my shimmer brush and I'm going to shimmer the title so it can dry. Before I put it on the page. So I'm just going to So the nice thing about the white border too is it kind of just keeps the shimmer corralled onto the colored cardstock. So I don't know. I will pick it up, but it looks super nice, super pretty in there. Sorry, the iPad is slipping. It'll end up on my work surface. I don't know what's happening, why it's not. There's like a clamp on, on it. And it should not be sliding. The nice thing too about the shimmer brush on the colored letters is that if I have any sort of um, liquid glass that's leaked too, it will hide it. Okay, so I'll just quickly put my few pieces over here. There we go. Almost done. And here we go. So I'm just adding a couple of drops. I just kind of roughly cut out the right size and I'm going to add these drops of glue. And then
Yeah, we're not limited on any sort of food items here, only like the toilet paper and the cleaning products. Okay. So now, because the peacock is here, I'm going to do these two the eggplant, and then the faraway one, the peacock. Yes, it's very strange. I guess it's just like the food supply chain now is why you guys don't have eggs and chicken. Okay. So. Oh, yes, I ventured the other day and I took, oh my goodness, look at me. I started to glue it, I almost glued it to the wrong side. Um, I did venture the other day to Costco, but we still had So you don't need me to send you chicken then. That's good. Can't believe guys, I almost glued it to the wrong side. I'll have to clean that up after with my little adhesive remover. I need to just take this off before it literally ends up on my desk. Yes, actually the interesting thing was my mom sent us a text message that said she was ordering chick. No, it was because I measured it on the wrong side on um, because I was measuring it on the front and then I just left it there. Um, my mom sent us all a text message to say she was ordering chickens and fish from the farm. Did anybody want anything? And by the time the three of us had answered, um, all the chickens were gone. So, okay, I like this. Okay, so I'm going to glue it down. Well... So I don't forget to do that. Okay, so I'm just centering that. Just not quite tall enough. Okay. we go. There we 
there we go. So I just need to decide if I'm going to use the black and white dots or I might pull out those um, seize the day again today. And I think I'm going to flip these so that one goes that way. Okay. So we're going to do some white and bronze twine today. And I'll just take it, my bone folder, and straighten it. So I printed these ones again with my Canon selfie. And then, so the, the file even cuts your photo mats. So you can also turn those off if you don't want them on there. So I just tie it on there. And then you can move the tie wherever you want after. Yes, you will notice too that with lots of the um, suggested colors, when you look at them for the everyday moments, the colors are quite muted. So don't think that just because that's um, what they show that that's what you have to actually do you can completely switch them up. Thank you. Sharice, if you have specific questions to Cricut questions, you can ask them and I can try and answer them. It's, like I said, it's. I think it's fun because you can do it exactly the way that they have it or completely change everything up right so and i'm hoping that the tips at the beginning were a little bit helpful i'm not i don't normally do um a ton of editing on my ipad so it is a, a little bit different i normally do it on my computer so i can see everything big um, I think it's quite like they're they're different like um, they're fun that they're kind of pre-designed but then you can kind of make them your own personality Okay, so you know nothing about design space, I'm old school, original cartridges. You have the air and design space account, and that's all. Okay, but even if you had the old one, you had to probably link your cartridges. 
Um, and if you, it actually will walk you through linking your cartridges. And if you can't do it, they will do it for you. So if you can't figure it out, you can contact Cricut and say, okay, these are the cartridges I have and I need to get them in my design space. And um, they will ask you to send them, as I'm untangling my fly, they'll ask you to send them a picture of um, either like your receipt, which I'm sure they're older, or they will, they can also do it. Um, they'll ask you to take a picture of the front and the back of them and send them, send it, and then they can help get it linked into your account if it's not in there already. Um, and Honestly, design space is super easy to maneuver. And maybe we'll just do some, maybe I'll add that to my list of um, videos because I get lots of questions. I get questions all the time. So um, I'll tell you, do you have it installed in your computer? That's the best place to start. Yes. Okay, then you need to be using it. If you have that many cartridges, you need to be using it. And I'm assuming even if you had the old one that you had to um you had to actually physically put the cartridge in, you had to link them. And then they should if and if they were linked, then they're in your account to use. And I'll tell you the yeah or at least start with a few cartridges is what i'm going to say like get some of the ones like more recent ones linked and then worry about some of the other stuff and they will they're pretty good at helping because i did have some older cartridges that sometimes they have issues with and they're pretty good not, it's not necessarily that it's immediate, but they're pretty good at helping you get it linked. And these, like this cartridge and the last one in particular, are so easy to use in design space. You could literally just leave them exactly the way they are and not worry about it, right? You just add them onto your canvas so and then cut it. That's as complicated or uncomplicated as it has to be, right? It's just a matter of starting somewhere. Because there's even a lot that you can just do in design space with just even basic shapes. So that is also a good way just to start to play with it. So most importantly, download the app, get yourself signed in, and then literally it's just a matter of playing. It's okay. I ramble for a long time. And you could go back and watch the beginning because I actually gave lots of good cricket tips at the beginning. Yes, like seriously, don't worry about the 100 cartridges at all yet get the program downloaded onto your computer and um, like I said you can even just play with basic shapes <laughs> I 
I every single time I have to figure out a time zone, I have to Google it. So don't you even think about it. Every time we have a promotion from close to my heart and it starts in mountain time, I have to Google it so that I know that I'm actually saying the right time. And I'm pretty sure, a th I'll say maybe 20% of the time I probably post the wrong time. But the video will always be there and it always gets lo loaded into my um, YouTube channel. And then with these ones too, I've been adding a blog post too so that they're all in one spot. Okay, so now Yes, but that's just because, okay, so Ginny just said it's so much easier than using the books and cartridges, really, and it is. You just have to um, not even think about it. It's so easy. Design space is so easy. They made it easy so that people use it. So I'm thinking... I might I think I'll do okay and so what do you think should we use so yesterday on the page I used some of the seize the day ones which I actually think are kind of perfect like the blue and the, not the sapphire, the candy apple and the mint here, or should I use the black and white? I was originally going to use the black ones because I thought it looked like the dots on the back of the mural. This is the coolest thing. So she's standing, I, we've done a photo shoot here um, more than once. So it's like at the end of our street is the river. And this is the old, like you can actually see the river here behind her. It's like right here. And this is a rail, oh, here comes Emmy. Hi. Um, there's an old railway bridge. And so, oh my goodness, if you guys could see her right now. She's looking at this, out the window. Um, and then, so this is then on the, the car side where the cars go across, there is, um, like obviously like a cement bridge and this is a mural on the wall and it's, um, this one is like, um, like underwater theme. It's beautiful. Uh oh. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. I can hear. Okay, yeah, I think I'll do a red one here. And to make it a little bit faster, I think I'll just use. adhesive because it's going to get stuck down anyway so I just kind of need it so it's interesting the only piece I didn't grab was glacier let me see if I have And I'm going to do these two with the glacier. So 
So hopefully that ties everything in there. There we go. Okay, so all that's left is, oh, bye-bye, Jenny. Now, we're tearing them down. Give those puppies kisses for me. Okay, so we're in the home stretch. And I kind of want them like slightly askew. And I'm just trying to decide if I want to pop up my title on foam tape or not yet. Thank you, Fiona. Okay, we're getting close. I think I might, because you know how much I love my foam tape. I think we will, but I'm going to put it on thin foam. So I'll just kind of pick a few spots. So I decided today, after I finish, I am going outside. It is nice and sunny. The snow is melting. I think it'll be good to get some vitamin D. Oh, wrong one. Okay.
And I think I'm going to use in the end, I think I'm going to use the seize today ones. They kind of are just the perfect color. So it seems silly not to use them. So as I said, I will photograph everything and then it'll be up on my blog and there'll be pictures here. And I think Unless, I think we'll do the adventure next week. And then we'll figure out where we're going to go from there for this purchase. Because I think we'll keep on going and working through some of these pages. Because this is good. This has been a good little project. I think I need one piece down here somewhere. So do you guys think we should do two page spreads next? or the cards, what are you feeling? Okay, I'm gonna move the black dots out of the way because I think I decided we're gonna use the seize the day for sure now. There we go. Move some of my garbage out of the way. Okay. Now I just need to pick where we're going to put some dots. Oh, I can even add them up in here. This one's slippery. You want to do two page spreads next? Well, there's some good two page spreads in there for sure. So I am not opposed to doing two pages. But like I said, even these ones could easily be changed into two page spreads. This one would be super easy to make into two pages. All you'd have to do is move the starburst over or add half a starburst onto another page. Look, I can even hide where I touched that with my gluey finger. Okay, so I think we're getting close here, guys. I think it's so funny that both days, even though the color palette was completely different, that the seize the day dots went perfectly. Okay, so I know you can't see it, but the title is sparkly. So there we go. So what do you guys think? Good? So for sure we're gonna do the adventure yet. And then, I'll take a look at what we'll do next, but I, we, I'm totally fine to move on to the two pages. There's some awesome two pages in there. Um, I will 
also drop my design space link into the bottom here if you guys want the color combinations that I used. And I actually should I do that for yesterday's too. I'll add that into yesterday's. So unless you guys have any more questions, I am out of here. So I hope you guys have a lovely rest of the afternoon. I'm going to clean up my mess and I'll take some pictures and then I will post everything. Bye guys. Talk to you later.